Hey guys, welcome to a new video. My name is Prince Mason. Today we are going to be retouching this image from start to finish. I'm going to try my best to see how I can squeeze everything into one video because typically it takes um, quite a long time and I hope you guys can learn like a few tips and tricks from um from retouching images like this and i haven't retouched this particular image i think i retouched some images from this particular photo shoot um uh, some months ago but i have not gone back to them so let's see if we can get this out of the way now the first thing i want to do is just check my white balance so what i'm going to do is use the, the 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 eye trick and see if i can you know um make that make sense so right now it looks really warm so let's see uh before and after so this uh before and these are after before and after i think i prefer how the skin looked before um right now it just looks too warm for me um somewhere let's see what 5200 looks like so as with the white balance like it's just like uh, a lot of gauging to see um what works for you personally um i don't think i love my i don't think i like this image looking too warm at the moment so let's see what auto looks like really warm let's see what when i shot it what it looks like so i, I really prefer this this look of you know how i shot it so right now i am just going to pull in my levels i'm pulling my whites too while i'm dragging in my whites i'm just going to make sure i am checking my exposure to make sure that her skin is not blown out and right now this this looks really good so um the next thing i might want to do is probably just match the skin color so i'm just gonna go down um i think i should just do this on another layer so um, instead of opening this layer like this what you can easily do is just down click hold and open field adjustment layer right and right now what i'm going to do is go to my color balance color editor i mean then go to skin tone and i'll pick one part of a skin tone that i want almost everywhere to look like and pick that part you guys can see this is the part that sampled and just mess around with the uniformity somewhere around here it looks good so basically the whole skin now looks you know the same way so let's see how before and how after before after you can see she had some parts on top of her head that was kind of like red you know if you guys can see we've taken that out and everything actually now looks the the way it's supposed to look right okay great now the only problem with this right now is that i'm just going to pick a brush um make sure it's a really soft brush and i'm just going to reduce my flow all the way down the problem i have with this and uh, not not the brush actually i'm just going to pick the eraser tool the eraser tool actually and and reuse my flow all the way down now the reason why i'm doing this is that even though this looks really good and everything is you know seamless and everything i don't want to remove the blush on the face so what i'm going to do right now is just paint that blush back into her face you know because the the blush is meant to be there it's part of the look right um, I don't know if this part of the blush was showing, but I'm just going to paint that back. And then I'm also going to remove from her lips because that's not the color of the lips. Right? So that's how her lips look. And maybe just take this out of her eyes in case there are any colors and maybe out of the earring. Yes. okay great so right now we have a way better image the whole skin is matching you can see the skin on her face matches that of her body that's the color and we have like our blush back and that's really good you know so i always try to maintain that blush um because i mean the makeup artist kept it there for a reason <laughs> okay great so I, I would say right now we are done in capture one now for a lot of people they do not do um some of the adjustments in capture one because they do everything in photoshop but i love to actually you know start off in capture one and then move to photoshop where i do mainly just skin retouching right okay so right now i'm just going to move this image okay now that we are in photoshop the first thing i want to do and the first thing i always do in photoshop is remove most of the textures so what i want to do right now is run my basic frequency separation action and um let's see what should i use 14 because this image is pretty sharp right so i think i might have to still stick to somewhere around 14 15 so somewhere around that should work 
so i'm going to click ok and i'm going to get my clone stamp tool and get to work and start taking out most of the texture now this is what is probably going to take the most time like i said um this was going to take the most time because she has um quite a lot of texture so i'm just going to take my time and work my way through through this so this is probably going to take a while and i would you know check how much time it, it took me so right now i'm gonna go and i'll be back in a bit Okay, so I think right now I have done a pretty decent job. As you guys can see, most of the, um, what word would I use? Most of the texture was concentrated around this area and I have taken out a lot of that. So what I want to point out is that at this point it does not look great, but don't worry, um, we are still working on this image. So it's definitely, definitely going to look um, better because you know, all these images, sometimes they just tend to look worse before they get better. That's life <laughs> but okay so now i'm done taking out this texture right so what do i want to do next the next thing i want to do is micro dodge and burn right so for this i'm just going to merge my basic frequency separation layers together and then jump to micro dodge and burn so i'm just going to run my complete dodge and burn actions my invert check layer i'm just going to adjust this till i can see all the blemishes very well so somewhere around here looks looks pretty decent and then i'm going to pick a soft brush make sure my flow is at one percent make sure my brush hardness is set to zero and then i'm going to get to work so what i'm going to do right now is start with this part of the image and fix all these places up with my micro dodge and burn Now this is something that might take a while, but I just want to fix this part and show you guys what it looks like real quick. With micro dodge and burn. So right now I know everything looks weird um, and that's because I am working with my um, invert check layer right now. Okay, so let's see. We have gotten to that. Let's see. Pretty decent job fixing that part up. Um, Michael Dodge and Burn is going to go quite a long way with this image, getting it to where it's meant to be. Fix some of the shadows around the eye. Fix some of the shadows down here. I mean, don't do too much if not, it starts looking fake. But. I quite have a, a long way to go with this particular image. 
so i'm just gonna continue going through my microdogen burn till i get everything fixed uh let's see let's see okay if i move out show you guys the before and after real quick look at that before and after you can see the image is definitely coming together so just going to go back in and fix a couple of these spots that are here that i can see get a couple of that out of the way and gradually the image is going to come together so i'm just going to continue dodging and burning and um, that's micro dodging and burning and when i don't <laughs> say when i don't <laughs> i'm going to continue micro dodging and burning and when i'm done i'm going to be back so let me show you guys this is what i've done right now so far doesn't seem like a lot but i mean like i said the image is coming together and i'll be back in a few minutes probably one hour <laughs> 30 minutes but obviously i'm going to like speed up this video so you guys don't see all that so i'll be back in a bit Okay guys, so I'm done with the first part of my micro dodge and burn and I just want to show you guys what it looks like. So this is the this is the before of the micro dodge and burn and this is the after. Now let me show you what I've been doing. So this is the before of um, when I started. I'm just going to zoom in a little bit for you guys there. And this is the after, before, after. As you guys can see, um, making significant progress right here. Show you guys again, before, after, before, after. And we are, probably right around the 30 minute mark right now so what i'm going to do is that i'm going to fix the the neck and the the, the shoulders for micro dodge and burn but at the same time right i'm going to move on to my second micro dodge and burn because you know it's almost like you run out of latitude with the first one sometimes and you have to move on to the second one so i'm just going to move on to that now so um i'll be back in a bit let me just continue working with the micro dodge and burn
so guys let's see what we have done and let's just show you let me show you where we started so this we started with this image and then we removed a lot of the um, textures that um, weren't meant to be there uh, and then micro dodge and burn and then the second part of the micro dodge and burn so um, if you put everything together this is what it looked like before and this is what it looks like now so before after before after okay great so and i removed a couple of the shadows from here if you guys can see that and it's because you know i wanted the the image to have this really nice airy look um and i'm not done doing that i can still see some minor ones right here that i'm just going to take out i think with with micro and burn you just have to train your eyes to see what you want to take out and, and, and what you want to leave so i just wanted the the image to have this overall really nice and bright look um so i'm trying to minimize how much shadows there are in, in the image and you know it's it's really easy to take out the shadows in um in capture one um when it's still a raw file but at that point you're going to be removing it's not controlled you know you're not removing it from the the places where you need to take it out of here just taking it out of everywhere so um yeah so i think i'm, I'm doing a, a pretty decent job for for an image that i am just going to be posting on on instagram this is not for a client and i don't have to be 100 percent perfect so you know most of these are my personal work and with my personal work it's just you know a lot of trial and an error to see um how i can become a, a better retoucher so so yeah i hope my mic is still recording i hope my screen is still recording because it's been a while okay great let's see where we're at right now this is where we're at we've done a pretty decent job and, and we've gone really far you know at this point you can't just you know um global dodge and burn and you're going to be good but that's not what we're going to do we are still going to do a, a few things with this image um i'm just going to dodge this part of the image just to lighten this place up a little bit because i was looking too dark for my liking okay okay good 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 so right now what we're going to do is advanced frequency separation um what i'm going to do is just create a new stamp visible layer and when i'm done with that i'm going to run my advanced frequency separation actions and click ok and right now what i want to do is just smoothen out the whole image and i'm thinking like oh wow princess i know what you did with the the micro dodge and burn yeah with micro dodge and burn it was kind of like just um working on the shadows and the highlights um which you can do with your frequency operation but at the same time if you push it too much your frequency operation tends to look fake so right now with the frequency operation what i'm just doing is you know i'm just blending in the, the the skin you know to just make it a lot softer and you know with the micro dodge and burn you 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 get to be a lot more intricate you know just take your time with this one i am just running over with the with the mixer brush i'm not trying to change the the shape of the face or change the shadows or the highlights i'm not trying to do any of that what i'm just trying to do is just smoothing out the whole image and uh, there are some things that people don't know is that um with your textures there's still a lot of shadows and highlights um because that's what makes textures right so with this you know it's just easy for me to to mess around with with those textures that i will not be not like i will not be able to go in and fix with micro dodge and burn that will take a lot of time to fix with micro dodge and burn and and you don't want to spend that much time on 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 every image right okay so just went in with my with my big brush and fixed everything okay great so let's see what that looks like now as you guys can see it looks uh, a lot smoother right so what i'm going to do again is going with my um clone stamp tool 
and just fix any texture that for some reason I have not been able to remove you know just any texture that's standing out more than it should be because the whole idea is that everything should be very um, uniform yes that's the word all the textures should be as uniform as possible now remember skin textures vary so you can't get the same texture everywhere on the face obviously that's not possible you know except the person is the most perfect human being in, in the world that's not possible so you just have to understand that textures vary from point to point on on the subject's face okay great so now that we have her looking now that we have the image looking as good as it could possibly be except you are just a way better retoucher than i am not way you know there are a lot of people that are like better retouchers than me and they'll probably do like an amazing job with this image but you know just yeah doing my thing for you guys on youtube okay so and the truth is that it just never stops because i can just keep going and keep going to feel like you just have to tell yourself at the point that hey you need to stop because you're gonna overdo it go back to my mix a brush and just go over this place it's just a little bit okay great okay so let's see our image from the beginning so this is what we started with and this is where we're at right now. This will start with this where we're at right now. We'll start it with where we're at right now. Great. So what we're gonna do right now is just a little bit of um global dodge and burn. You gotta touch that, you know, that global dodge and burn. So then I'm gonna go back to my brush, take my flow to three percent. So what I like to do with my um global dodge and burn is just turn off all the the other layers and just dodge and burn with the exact um lighting effect that was there in the first place now i'm not saying you should follow everything the exact way it was in the first place but you know as close as possible will be nice so let's see what that looks like okay looking good so what i'm going to really focus is this highlight on on her face All right get that now if you you can always paint in more highlights it just depends on you personally for me, I like going with how the original looks. That's just personal preference. So just going and... Now, I don't know if you guys can, can tell, but my retouching style is not zooming in all the way all the time. I know there are some people that just absolutely love retouching like this. Yeah, but I personally... Just like keeping it at a distance, just feel like it works better for me that way, right? Okay, great. So around, let's burn, which is contouring. You know, let's just get that blush in there, looking good. Okay, so let's see what this looks like. Oh, looks good. OK, 
okay so let's zoom out all right now we can check our before and our after so let's zoom in all right now we can check our before and our after so we've done uh we've done a pretty decent job here right so the next thing i want to do right now is just tone her skin so what i'm going to do is just pick up my color look up and use one of my skin tone lots okay this seems like it works five now nah, five is too much four four looks good two three three looks okay one I really like how two looks but i'm still going to go with um with six so i'm gonna go with six i have some new skin tone lots that i'm working on but i'm not gonna use them for this image right now um because i don't have them installed on this pc but soon those are going to be my natural skin tone lots they, they look really really nice okay great so now i already made sure that i matched the skin tones in capture one so since everything is really even i can just drop this lot on here probably just reduce the opacity a little bit levels add some levels to this guy i don't mind if if all these highlights are a little bit blown out i, I really don't mind you know the whole idea is to go for that really nice high key look um okay um let's see if i can just let's see what rich tones will look like on this image uh I, th I feel like it's taking away from that very high key look even though it's adding a little bit more contrast to it which i like so at 10 at 10 it's not bad you know that contrast then what i can do is just up my levels just a little bit more again okay so let's see where we started this is where we started and this is where we're at right now you guys can see significant progress right so one thing i want to do is just make sure the skin is like still smooth you know still reduce like some of the texture from the skin now that i've gone to this point okay just click okay so what i want to do right now is invert that layer and just pick a white brush my flow at 100 percent and just paint over the places with like a low texture So while I know this looks really, really soft, I can always just reduce the, the opacity. So I don't think I would, I would get her neck because um, it's a little bit out of focus because of the way I shot it. Um, so right now, it's just this place and I don't get her lips either. And what I'm going to do is just reduce the opacity to somewhere around here. And that looks, and that looks way better. Okay, great. So right now what i want to do or the last thing i'll do to this image is a little liquefy i think i would have whitened her eyes but her eyes actually look really really white um but i mean never can tell until you actually try to do that so right now i'm just going to run that action pick a brush get in there and whiten those eyes and see how it actually looks i mean they were pretty white before. I think right now I'm just going to make it super obvious. Uh, so let's see. Like really, really white now. So I'm just going to reduce the opacity. Let's see if this. There isn't quite a significant difference, right? Okay, great. Um, right now I'm going to create down that merge visible layer. And then jump into liquify. So I'm in liquefy right now. And what I'm gonna do is just, first and first, just work on the, the hair. And just make it look really nice, round and smooth. Ok, 
Okay. So, just going to zoom out so I can see better. And just make my adjustments from here with a, with a bigger brush. Okay. Um, that looks a lot better now. So, let's see what it looked like before. You guys can see this was before and this stuff that looks a lot better now um so i'm just going to zoom back in uh, okay that's too much go all the way out um so 50 percent 25 okay and just zoom in okay so right now just gonna pick the brush back and um this part of the face just Bring that back down and let's see what that looks like before after before after i think i have a lot more to do except the fact that i use 100 mm so i always like reducing the face width with 100 mm um, because it's not like uh it's not proper telephoto right so i just feel like and because of how magnifying it is i just feel like it makes heads look bigger so and that's about it so right now Let's save this image and go into Capture One so we can see our before. So we see our straight out of camera, Capture One edit, and then we can see our final image. So see you in Capture One. Okay, so now we are in Capture One and I quickly want to show you guys everything. So this right here in the middle is a straight out of camera. This right here on the left is the Capture One uh, edit and this one right here on the right is the retouched image. So what I'm going to do right now is just put these two side by side so you guys can see them. Um, capture one edit, um, Photoshop retouched image. So that's about it. Anyways, thank you so much for watching today's video. Um, hopefully it was not too long, but um, hopefully I can make a couple videos like this again. <laughs> um, have an amazing day guys. Peace out.